Do you guys remember the awesome coral dress I bought for that modern gemstone earring tutorial? Well, let's just say I had to go to California for work. This is kind of what my dress looked like when I got back to New York. I'm heartbroken because, to be honest, it's kind of like the fanciest, most expensive dress I own right now, and of course that's the one I ruined. Um, so I'm not giving up on this dress. I will make it work, and I'm going to do it by using really cool indigo dye. It's really trendy right now, so it's easy to find, and I think it's going to make the color look totally camouflaged. For this project, you will need a stained piece of clothing, a bucket full of warm water, and an indigo dye kit. Take out your instructions because each packet will be a little bit different. And this one says to fill my bucket with warm tap water. Then I'm going to add the indigo dye packet, the soda ash packet, and a reduction agent. Now it's time to mix. Ooh, it's like a cauldron. The instructions say the kind of foamy bit in the middle is called the flour. And we're gonna scoop that up and take it out before we put the clothing in. But I'm not gonna lie, this looks a little creepy and I'm not 100% sure if this is gonna work, but if it does, this DIY is gonna be damn cool. Our solution's been sitting for 15 minutes. The instructions said to uncover it, to get our clothing a little wet, and to squeeze out the excess. So I hosed down the dress, squeezed it out, and put it in here, and now I am moving it around. It says to manipulate it manually, and I'm a little concerned <laughs> because now it's bright green. I don't know if you guys can see that. So my dress has been in the solution for about, I'd say, five minutes because I want it to be really dark to cover those stains. Now, the instructions say that it's going to look green and it should turn blue once it oxidizes. That's how the dye becomes that beautiful indigo color, which, oh my, oh my goodness, I hope that's true. You guys keep an eye on it for me and tell me if you see anything turning the right color. Wow, I am... Um gonna be honest guys when it was that green in the bucket I did not think it was gonna turn this blue but this is exactly what I was going for it's covered up all the stains and it's actually like a very nice chambray color now I could have seen this at J. Crew, perhaps all that's left to do is hang it up to dry give it a nice hand wash I like to do it in salt water to help the color from bleeding out you may want to hand wash this from now on and we did it Thank you guys so, so much for helping me save my favorite dress. This is definitely not going in the trash. In fact, I think this may be my new favorite transition piece from summer to fall. I can add some tights, some boots, a hat, and you're all set. I hope this tutorial helps out the next time you have an epically stained piece of clothing. Remember, don't throw it in the trash, just DIY it and everything will be A-OK. -okay. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We have tons of videos, one per week. We have recipes and crafts and DIYs. I hope you stop by um, and introduce yourself in the comments below. I'd love to know who you are and um, just get to be friends. So hope to see you guys next week.